My newest thing is critical thinking. Been reading about it for years, thinking about it for years, put together a critical thinking program. And stand around minding my own business, and someone comes up and says, I want my child to be a critical thinker. I want my child to grow up to be a critical thinker. A couple of things pop into my mind. First one is, are you sure? Because if your child is a critical thinker, that means everything you tell them to do, they're going to say, why do I have to do that? Everything you tell them, they're going to argue with you. All the advice you give, they're going to question it. They're going to try some things that you know are a bad idea because they haven't learned that it's a bad idea yet. The question is, do you want a critical thinker or do you want someone who's obedient? Right? And, it, and it's tough. And it's the same way at work. Do you really want to work with a team of critical thinkers. So the first thing I would say is that this program is not for everyone. This program is for people who like to look at things from the other point of view, like to question, like to argue, like to doubt. It's the basis of creativity and innovation. The research on what causes people to be creative and causes people to innovate is the, the, these people, they like to argue, they like to hear the other side of the story, and that a lot of time it's arguing that creates what's new. In this program, I use as a case study General Motors, and I look at what happened in General Motors. I think what happened in General Motors is there was no arguing and nobody cared. If you're going to have a company that's successful, it's going to be filled with passionate people who have big ideas and they're passionate about their ideas and committed to their ideas. And if you create a culture where passionate people are not seen as desirable people, they leave, right? And they go work for Porsche. And you end up with rooms filled of people who don't care that much. And that, I think, is the, cre the creeping of bureaucracy. And I think that General Motors was a company filled with smart people, run by smart people, who tried hard. But this creep of bureaucracy is the enemy of critical thinking. So in critical thinking, what I believe, the, you know, we go through this whole process of how we look at things and questioning and how, our, how we decide and how our mind works, but ultimately what I think the takeaway is to focus on what matters. So a lot of things that we have to do at work, some matter more than others. We focus on what matters because the second point is to create value and to figure out where the value comes in our organization. The third one is an appreciation for diversity. Companies usually have risk takers and the safe people. The risk takers want to do the new deal. The safe people want to make sure we have enough money. So you're all sitting at the conference table and the question is, should we take the risk or not? And the answer is, sometimes you should take the risk and sometimes you shouldn't. And what leads to organizations making the right decision is where everybody sits at the table giving respect to other people at the table, entertaining the possibility that they're wrong, and then together you synergize, make good decisions, lead you to success. That's the goal of, of critical thinking. As I said, it's not for everyone, but I think it can be useful to people who find this concept interesting. And like all of my programs, the goal of this is to help you create value for you and for your organization, to make you think, and this one really makes you think, and to present it all in an entertaining manner. Thank you.